Total production of oysters amounted to about 6.4 million tons in 2020, which is a result of a stunning blend of technology and sustainability. The mass production of oysters begins in a hatchery, where oyster larvae are cultivated under controlled conditions. Adult oysters are induced to spawn by manipulating water temperature and food supply. Once the oyster spat reach a suitable size, they are transferred to grow-out sites, which can be located in open water, such as bays, estuaries, or coastal areas, or in controlled environments like floating bags, racks, or cages. In open water systems, oysters are typically placed on the seabed or suspended in the water column using long lines or trays. In controlled environments, Oysters are often grown in mesh bags or cages that protect them from predators and ensure optimal water flow. During the grow-out phase, which can last from 12 to 24 months, depending on the species and environmental conditions, oysters are regularly monitored for growth, health, and water quality. Farmers must also manage risks such as predation, disease, and environmental changes to ensure a high-quality product. In open water systems, oysters are typically harvested using dredges or tongs, which are dragged along the seabed to collect mature oysters. In suspended systems, bags or cages are lifted from the water, and the oysters are manually removed. Once harvested, oysters are quickly transported to processing facilities to maintain freshness. Timing is critical during this stage as oysters must be harvested at the right size and maturity to meet market demands. Upon arrival at the processing facility, oysters undergo thorough cleaning and sorting. They are first rinsed with seawater or fresh water to remove mud, debris, and other contaminants. The oysters enter the main washing chamber, which is the core component of the rotating washer. This chamber consists of a large cylindrical drum or barrel that rotates on its axis. The drum is often made of stainless steel or other durable materials to withstand the abrasive nature of oyster shells. As the drum rotates, the oysters are gently tumbled and agitated. This movement causes the oysters to rub against each other and the interior walls of the drum, effectively dislodging dirt, mud, barnacles, and other debris from their shells.
Next, they are sorted by size, weight, and quality using automated machinery or manual labor. High-quality oysters are separated for sale as live products, while those with minor defects may be shucked for meat processing. Sorting ensures that only the best oysters reach consumers, maintaining the reputation of the brand and meeting industry standards. This step also involves inspecting oysters for signs of disease or contamination, which is crucial for food safety. Live oysters are typically packed in mesh bags or boxes with ice or cooling gel packs to maintain a cold chain during transportation. For oysters destined for the half-shell market, they are typically sold live and unshucked. However, a significant portion of oyster production involves shucking, where the meat is removed from the shell for use in various products such as canned oysters, frozen oyster meat, or value-added seafood dishes. If you've enjoyed learning about the intricate process of food production and harvesting, there's so much more to discover. Be sure to check out our other episodes and dive into even more amazing food production stories.